I'm back at the Edinburgh International Film Festival here in Scotland, and with me today is Matthew J. Savile, uh, the director of Juniper. Um, for our viewers who are not able to be here at the moment, can you tell in your own words what the film is about? Uh, I suppose the film is about, uh, it's, it's sort of a, a kind of a platonic love story um, between a 17-year-old boy who's never met his uh, estranged grandmother and those two characters, and it's, uh, I suppose it's a, it's a story about human connection with drama and touches of comedy and hopefully some pathos, yeah. At yesterday's screening you told that uh, it's kind of a personal story, so... The inciting, it, it is personal in the sense that uh, when, I was, um, when I was in my last year of school, my grandmother uh, came to live with me. I'd never met her really. She broke her leg, she was very intelligent, very smart, and she also drank uh, a lot of gin uh, and so that's kind of the inciting incident, but I've taken that character and uh, the characters in it and made them something different. So, uh, um, so it kind of is, is not, it's based in truth, but it's a fiction, if, if that makes sense. Uh, Charlotte Rampling is incredible in the role of the old lady, Ruth. Mm. Um, it's, it's a bitter, old, and uh, a bit of rude lady. Yes. Um, was it hard to get her on board? Uh, it was, you know, it was a, it was a hustle. Um, she really connected with the script, uh, and the, I suppose it was about convincing her that it, it would be a worthwhile trip, not just as to do, a, to do the film, but also as an experience for her, you know. So, so, so New Zealand's a long, long way away, as you know. So, so that was kind of the main thing. So I flew to Paris, and um, she was kind enough to give me three days and we talked and we worked on the script and, and turned it and, uh, and I managed to convince her that I'd be an okay person to work with, so, so she came, yeah. Lovely. Um, mm. And how much of the story was already in the script? Did, you, did, did they, the actors have to improvise on the, on the set or? There was no, no, there's no imp improvisation. There was a kind of, uh, you know, I like to work with my actors and I like to allow them to suggest changes and uh, to do things like that, but that's done beforehand, so it's more about making sure they understand their characters, l allowing them to feel a kind of ownership, you know, so if they're like, well, I don't really like to say it like this, I want to say it like this, and if I feel that's okay, um, that's, that's fine, so no, but not, not really any imp improvisation. Yeah. And when you look at the final film now, is it exactly what you had in mind in the first place? Well, in terms of the, the arc of the story and the connection, I mean, it goes through through journeys, but in terms of the fact that I'm writing about these two characters and you know what happens between them, very much so. In terms of how the film connects with people, emotion emotionally, I think so. Of course, it is different. You know, different circumstance, things alter and change, and you hopefully just make it stronger. It feels, yeah, it does. It does feel like the script I wrote. Yeah. And this is your also your debut as a feature film. Director. Yeah, it's my first feature. Yeah. yeah, was it always the plan to write and direct, or? Yeah, I th with this, it was um, important to me to take it all, all the way through. I, I I do write for other people, and I would like to direct other people's scripts. But with this, it was important for me to take it all the way through to the end, you know, and to sort of shape it and and just give it the care and love it needed. Yeah, mm. we've seen stories about old grumpy ladies. Um, mm on the screen many times. Mm. But this time I kind of felt that something is different. Mm. I um, haven't figured out yet what it is. Maybe you can help me. Um, perhaps it's the uh, the engagement of that character with the youth and in a weird, in a weird way she's younger than everyone else who has a, a kind of a sense of spirit. Um, you know, I did watch or look at those other kind of tropes and you know it is these are tropes as you say or their their ideas so so it was important to me to um even with the young 17 year old boy as well they're all things that we know and we've seen in other films so it was important for me to f to find the, fam the familiar familiarities <laughs> excuse me but also to create something different but hopefully that people can can see their own selves and their own own family and mm. yeah well thank you <laughs> yeah um I've seen a quite. I've seen quite a few films from New Zealand, and uh, mm. 
that always blew me away. Mm. There's Millie's, Millie Lies Low in this yes, year's festival. Film. Mm. Yes, uh, last year they had um, The Justice of Bonnie King. Yeah. Um, what is so special about the New Zealand film community? Look, I think when we get to, you know, New Zealand makes a lot of films out, uh, outside of New Zealand. They get brought here and we make those movies. But when Kiwis get a chance to make their own stories and if they connect with this script, there's kind of a love involved. So we were lucky to have, you know, everyone who was uh, involved in making the film really, really cared about it. They loved the story and are prepared to go above um, and beyond. So perhaps, perhaps that's it, you know. I think, to be honest, Charlotte got a sense of that and enjoyed being with us. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, Charlotte Rampling and George Ferry, mm. who play Sam, mm. uh, very impressive, as I said. Mm. Um, how is working with a very experienced actor and someone who's relatively new in the business? Well, obviously, you know, they have different kind of things, you know. Uh, um, I don't need to worry about Charlotte feeling confident about her ability. You know, she's Charlotte Rampling. And I suppose it's kind of like, um, you know, allowing them enough time to feel comfortable with each other to, to form a connection. But to be honest, Charlotte kind of took George under his wing and so on. And George, we cast him because he had the, the confidence and the sort of uh, the skill to connect there. We found him on self tapes and it just, it kind of worked, you know. Um, so I was mi mindful of, of it, but also I just had faith and, and, and trusted them. And I just try to create an environment for people so that they can feel comfortable and everything's, all the other things are pushed, pushed aside. And after the first couple of days, no one, no one cares uh, anymore, you know, all those sort of fears and things have gone away. Yesterday's screening, you talked about a letter that you yeah. to Charlie. What was that about? Well, it was it was kind of a chance for George to connect with Charlotte because the film's in a period film, and so I wanted him to write a handwritten letter uh, to Charlotte. So, you know, which is what you would do back in the '90s, as opposed to an email or something. So it was very important that he wrote a handwritten email, but as himself. And it was like, and I've never read it, but it was along the lines of, "Hello, Charlotte. I'm excited to meet you. I'm nervous, but this is, you know." And she, of course. Um, wrote back to him and that was kind of like the beginning of their uh, their relationship before before they met yeah um, don't get me wrong i think mm. the, was, uh, the, the film mm. is perfect the way it is mm. but would you have done anything different if you had let's say unlimited money or unlimited budget uh, but not uh, a limited time um i mean it's a that's a, an interesting question i don't know obviously there's if you have unlimited money and un unlimited time um there's just so much more to draw on and, and there's, there's a bigger uh, world you could you could paint you know I could have um, I could have flashed back to to uh, Charlotte's will war experiences or something like that but I think there's something nice about um, the compactness of it you know and really for me it is about just the, the other character is important but capturing those two um, two characters is the most important thing so there was something there's something, as much as I did want more time, we only shot five weeks, uh, if I had more time to, to add things, that's fine, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of happy with it, uh, the way it is now, and I just want to move on to the, ne <laughs> the next one, yeah. Let's talk about the future, is there anything you can already talk about? Any new plans? I, I do have another feature that I'm, uh, I've got in the works, so I've just got to find the right people uh, to work with and that'll be based on a short film I made uh, a while back and I'm working on some uh, TV projects in, in New Zealand uh, as well. I, I hope to make um, a film outside of New Zealand so that'll be the, the goal for me. Really mm. looking forward to everything that's coming our way. Thank yeah. you very much for the interview, good luck with the film and... Uh, hey thanks so much and I really uh, appreciate that it resonated with you. Yeah. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Cool.